In this problem we have two boxes sitting on a surface, they're currently sliding to the right and they're also pushed to the right by a push of 20 newtons. And the question is uh, what is their common acceleration to the right? I've already prepared the whole setup for the problem here. First I'm going to draw the free body diagrams of both objects. Then I'm going to look for additional equations and at last, I'm going to plug in Newton's first and second law for both objects in x and y direction. Let's start with the free body diagram of box B. I isolate box B from uh, the drawing and wherever I cut through some force, I'm going to replace this uh, by a force in the free body diagram. Uh, to start with, on the left side I was cutting through a surface, so there must be a, a normal force from uh, the left towards the right. It is actually the force of A on B. I do have another surface, which is the one uh, below which will also cause me normal force going away from the surface so I have a normal force on B from the surface and it will also cause me a friction the friction always uh, opposes the possible sliding so if I'm moving to the right that means my friction on B will be to the left I'm on the surface of the planet that means there also must be a gravity On B. Next is the free body diagram on A. I'm doing the same thing, isolating it from the environment. And this time from the left, I'm having a push. From the bottom, I also have a normal force. and the friction, same as before, the friction will try to oppose the possible movement. Uh, from the right side I have a force also going to the left which will be the force of B on A which is a Newton's third law pair with the force on uh, B by A. And once more I'm having gravity, so I have to draw a gravity on A. In both cases I'm going to assume the acceleration is to the right. I might be wrong, if I am then math will just give me a negative uh, value for the acceleration so let's name this acceleration A and the other one is acceleration B for the coordinate system of A I'm just going to use a normal coordinate system with X to the right and Y up the same for B I'm going to use X to the right and Y up. So once our free body diagrams are done I'm going to look for additional equations. I do know that my force of gravity on A is equal to mass of A times G so 100 newtons. I also know that my friction on A I better label this in the free body diagram as friction on A uh, the magnitude will be equal to my coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force on A similar for B I do know that my force of gravity on B is mass of B times gravity which will be 20 
newtons and I know that my friction on B is going to be mu k times the normal force on B. I also have some uh, bridge equations between the two. For example, I do know that the force on A by B, the magnitude of it is equal to the force by B on A. Uh, so I'm just going to call this the force in the future. Also, I do know that my two accelerations must be the same. As they're touching each other, that means the two magnitudes are the same, so I'm just going to call this acceleration. Now I'm ready to uh, look at Newton's first and second law for both objects in uh, their x and y directions. Uh, for object A in x direction, I'm clearly having Newton's second law as it is moving to the right and potentially accelerating to the right. So sum of all forces in x direction equals mass of A times the acceleration. In y direction I'm not accelerating, so I have Newton's first law, sum of all forces in y equals zero. And for box B I'm having exactly the same thing. Sum of all forces in x equals mass b times acceleration and in y direction the sum of all forces in y is 0. Now I'm going to go through each of my free body diagrams and look at which direction uh, the force is acting on. If I go in my free body diagram of A, I have a force, a push, I have a friction, and I have a force in x direction. So I'm going to put them in my x direction. So I have a push plus a friction on A. Uh, plus force on A by B, which I just called uh, the force. And uh, that's it in x direction. I'm having an acceleration in positive x direction. At least that's what I assume. And I have all my forces in x. In y direction, I have a normal force and I have gravity. I have a normal force plus gravity equals zero. Next I'm going to look at the direction of each of those forces. In x my push is in positive x direction, so I'm writing plus the push. My friction is against my x direction, so minus friction, as is my force AB, of which the magnitude I called F before, is equal to, as my acceleration is positive, I'm writing MA times acceleration. I know the push, I do not know the friction and the force from B on A, so I cannot further solve this equation. So I'm going to go over to the y direction where my normal force is in positive direction. Uh, my gravity is in negative direction. So I do know that my normal force is equal to my gravity, which I already calculated is 100 Newton. Uh, if I look at my additional equations up here, uh, this gives me directly another value, namely the friction. I say it's the coefficient of friction times the normal force, which is 20 newtons. So I can plug this in uh, back 
in my x direction. So I'm getting plus 20 newtons from my push, minus 20 newtons from my friction, uh, minus the force on A by B is M A times A. So interestingly, the push is just cancelled out by the friction. Uh, so I get that my acceleration R is minus whatever B is doing on A or water mass on A. Now let's see what we get uh, for object B. For object B in x direction I have my force of A on B and I have my friction. So I have my force of A on B plus my friction on B is mass B times acceleration B. In Y direction I have gravity and the normal force. must be equal to zero. Uh, so the bit A, I'm now looking at the directions. My force of uh, A on B is in positive direction, so positive my magnitude F. My friction is in negative direction and my acceleration I'm also assuming positive. From my y direction I get plus the normal force minus fg, it's actually fg of b, so I should write the subscripts, zero. So as before I can easily get my normal force fgb, which in this case uh, is 20 newtons. Once again, I can use the equation for the friction. Which will give me 4 newtons. Plugging this back in, I get plus my fraction uh, sorry, plus my force from A on B minus my 4 newtons is mass of B times acceleration. As I want to solve for the acceleration, uh, I'm gonna solve this for the force between A and B, which I'm not needing is m b times acceleration plus 4 and then I'm substituting this in my equation that I already got here so I have my acceleration is equal to minus mass of B times acceleration uh, plus 4 divided by the mass of A so I have mass of A times acceleration so 10 A is equal to minus mass B times a so 2a minus the 4 so 12a is equal to 4 
therefore my acceleration is minus 0 0.33 meters per second square. This means that the acceleration that I assume to be to the right is actually not to the right but to the left. That means although there is a push from the left, my system will eventually be slowing down. It starts at an initial velocity of 10 meters per second to the right but will eventually slow it down. So I'm going to give the answer as a vector. Therefore my a as a vector is uh, 0 0.33 meters per second square to the left. say it's even slowing down. And this will be my final answer.